Over the last few days on the channel, I've had a fair amount of questions in regards to how you actually play Marvel Future Revolution on PC. When I'm playing it on PC myself, I'm using Bluestacks. I am a Bluestacks affiliate. So I've actually got an affiliate link within this video. And if you click on that to download Marvel Future Revolution, then you'll actually be helping out the channel. And it means you get to play the game on PC on your bigger screen as well. And you can use your keyboard and your mouse and what have you. And the controls actually feel really good once you do set them up with that. So what I'll do in the video is firstly, I'll show you where you go to download the latest version of Bluestacks that's required to play Marvel Future Revolution. From there, you'll click on the affiliate link to download the game. I'll then run over some of the features of Bluestacks. 5, and that's the latest version, and then we'll jump into some gameplay. I'll show off some Captain Marvel from the soft launch server. I've got around about 600,000 power or so, and I can get her ultimate near enough 100% uptime, so it's really pretty fun. So let's jump in, I'll show you where you go to download the client first. So this is the page you want to go to here, I've got a link in the description, so it's just a case of actually clicking on that. It'll take you to this page, from there you can see you've got the, the blue button down at the bottom. Download the latest version of Bluestacks 5 for Marvel Future Revolution. The one you want to download because the game's just out and it's almost like a, a beta version of Bluestacks you'll be using for this. It's the, the Bluestacks Pi, that's what they call it, 64-bit instance. That's the one you're wanting to use. So once you've actually downloaded that, let me show you the, the Bluestacks overlay and where you go from there. So this is how it will look when you actually first boot it up. Now you won't yet have Future Revolution actually downloaded, so once again I've got an affiliate link, so please do click that when you actually download the game for the first time, then I'll add it, just an icon here where you can start it up. Now before we do start it up, some quick features of Bluestacks 5, this is the latest version, so with this it uses 50% less RAM than Bluestacks 4, you've access to over 2 million apps with it, there's an eco mode on it, so you can consume less power while you're actually playing it, and it's got 64 bit Android support that is required for Marvel Future Revolution, you get some pretty nice features in here as well, and it'll, it'll make more sense once we're actually in game so you can see them, but it's custom controls you can actually map for your game, so when you're using your keyboard and mouse you can assign different keys for different skills that you're actually using, so it makes it feel like you're actually playing a proper PC game as opposed to a, a mobile game on a PC. But that's a quick look at some of the options, let's actually jump into the game now, I'll show you quickly how it performs first, and then from there we'll do a, a blitz match with my pretty jacked up Captain Marvel. So we're currently running this on the highest settings, let me go in and actually show you here, we're going to graphics, we've got max and we've got high, and it runs really pretty smooth considering we're in an area where there is a ton of people as well. So you can get a wee bit of lag when you're in this particular area. But here we go, let's actually jump up and fly here. So there you go, you can see it looks absolutely awesome. It looks the equivalent of you're playing it on a high-end phone, to be honest. But from here, let's now jump in and we'll do the, the Blitz match and we'll go up against Maestro here. So we'll skip past the first section of this blitz because it is a bit boring to be honest just so we can go in and we can see Maestro. The first section is just a random enemy you're fighting. We want to see the big bad here and then I can show off the setup I'm using as well. There we go, let's go over here. So I'm around about 600,000 power on Captain Marvel, this is from the soft launch server. Playing it for about two months, I've really not put any money into the game at all. So you can get to this range even as a free-to-play player. And this will let you see what you'll be capable of actually doing. So we want to fire off our ultimate here. And we're going to follow up with a beam attack. There we go, we're able to eat that stomp because I've got a nice amount of health on her. I've actually got a pretty cool shield you can put up here as well. This increases your defense by 50%. With this you can tank a fair amount. And then watch the ultimate bar just here, there we go, you see that fill up that amount, that's just due to the, the setup we're running here. It's all about trying to get as high up time as you can on that ultimate because it's really amazing, you've got your crowd control immunity, and then on top of that as well, you've got your additional 50% damage. I'm actually not doing the best of runs here in regards to my rotation because I'm trying to add the commentary as well, I should have saved my beam for after casting the ultimate. There you go, you can see that filling up again, almost filled up by half with the setup I'm running. I will do a build guide video on that at a later date. Let's see, we've got a nice amount of damage, hopefully we can get a beam while our ultimate buffs are still available, we should be able to. There you go, we got 
His stomp. I could probably eat the stomp, but I don't want to risk it just in case. So let's go for the beam now. Just as our ultimate steroid drops off, so that's typical there. And then in a second you'll see we'll have the ultimate back up again. It didn't drop off that long ago and I completely messed up the rotation in this video. Trying to add commentary and play it at the same time is actually harder than it would seem. Do a fair amount of damage with this here, hopefully. Let's evade this. So you can use your keys or else you can actually just see I'm using the mouse right now to actually click the various different buttons as well, so it's up to you what you go for. And then we'll finish off with the beam and that'll be us done. But that's how you actually play it in Bluestacks 5 and that's how it looks. You can see that it does look and play really pretty nice. Once again, as a sponsored video, there's an affiliate link, so if you're going to play the game on PC, please do click on that link and you're helping out the channel. But thanks for tuning in for this one. Stay safe and I'll see you all again soon.